Wolf Pack, if you're watching this, that means I've been impregnated by a vampire and then he ate our demon spawn out of my stomach. Oops. So I asked you guys on Twitter what you would like to see me vlog about, and a couple of people answered quite emphatically that they would like to see me vlog about Kristen Stewart. And I'm not really sure what specifically, but her name, you know. I'm not sure exactly what you want me to say about her, or if there is a right thing or a wrong thing to say about her, but one thing I have noticed is that everyone has a very strong opinion about her. There are very few people that are kind of like, ah, whatever. I think I fall into that category. A lot of people might expect that I would really dislike her because she is the face of the Twilight Saga, which I have been vocally not a huge fan of, and also since I'm a Harry Potter fan, I must obviously hate Twilight and everyone who has anything to do with it, right? Those are the rules that you can only like one thing, yeah? But the people who like her, especially Twilight fans, are like crazy in love with her. I just don't understand it. I mean, I get that she is an attractive woman, and she was pretty cool in Adventureland. I enjoyed her in that movie. But anytime I've tried to watch her in interviews, it's it's painful. What with the umming and the erring and the biting of the lips and the sighing and the just lacking any sort of answer to anything. I'm talking about Kristen Stewart here. Hello? Hey, how you doing? I'm great. I'm just filming a video. I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, I love you. Okay, mwah, bye. It's my grandmother. Here's one thing that I will say which I think is very interesting and worth thinking about, at least. Kristen Stewart is often derided for not being the typical actress. She doesn't live into that stereotype of being perfect or better than everyone who watches her movies, which is kind of what sometimes we want from people. When we see them in interviews, we want them to be super clever or hilarious or adorable or intelligent. And she doesn't really live into that, and I think that's what people like about her. And I would make fun of that. I mean, I would, except for I see definite parallels between the way that she acts and the way that Jennifer Lawrence acts in public. I mean, both of them are uncomfortably real. I really like when Jennifer Lawrence does it, and I really don't like when Kristen Stewart does it. I guess there's an aspect of it which is just confirmation bias, meaning that if I decided before I ever heard her speak that I wasn't going to like Kristen Stewart, then I say, oh, she's dumb. She likes reality TV, therefore I don't like Since her. Since I had already decided that I wanted to like Jennifer Lawrence, I saw her idiosyncrasies as something adorable and reasons why I enjoy her more. So, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, Though I think Jennifer Lawrence is considerably more well-spoken. Is that non-committal enough for you, Haley and Karina? I don't know what you want me to say. Let me know what your thoughts on Kristen Stewart are in the comments below. Please try to be nice. Let's try to keep it nice on this channel. Hope that you're having a swell day, and until I see you next, be brilliant.